so recently I realized how many freaking makeup samples I have. I just have collected samples from every online order I've ever made and just, I don't know, I've just ended up with a ton of them. So today I thought it'd be fun to do a full face of makeup using just makeup samples and I have, I have a lot of makeup samples. I have like a whole box full of them. Uh, so, all the makeup that I'm putting on today, I will be picking out of this box, and I actually have no idea what all I have in here, so this will be interesting. I have dug out my primers. I have a bunch of the Benefit the Poor Fessional, so I have a couple of these little packets, plus an actual deluxe sample, and I have Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. I have one in a packet and another deluxe sample, plus I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. Um, but because I have so many of the benefit one, I'm just gonna go for this. I've actually never tried this primer. I'm not a huge fan of primers. I just don't really feel like they're necessary for my day-to-day -day life. And this smells like definitely fragranced. So I'm a little worried it's gonna break me out. But I actually don't mind the smell itself. And it is making my skin feel really smooth. So I think I don't hate this. I still have a little extra in here, but I feel like I've put more than enough primer on my face, so there we go. I have three options for foundation. I have the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. I have the Cover FX Total Cover Cream Foundation and the Kevin Aquan the Etherealist Skin Illuminating Foundation. Um, let's just go with the Kevin Aquan Foundation. I'm gonna guess that I'm the light shade on here, as I usually am. I'm just gonna shake it up a little bit. Ooh, this is like very liquidy foundation. I was gonna put the whole packet on here to see how much product is in here, but uh, I probably would get most of it on the floor. So I'm just gonna start messing with it and putting it on my face. Well, this is actually a pretty good skin match for me, I think. It might be slightly too light, but I'll find a way to fix that. Okay, so there's definitely still some product in here. I only really used that first squeeze that came out. Um, but you know, this is actually a pretty nice foundation. It looks very illuminating as it is advertised, but it looks pretty nice, I think. Not sure how it's showing up on camera, but up close with a mirror, it does actually look really nice. And that's the true test of a foundation. I mean, it's not that hard to make a foundation look decent on camera because, you know, I have lighting and just for some reason the camera just makes everything a little smoothed out. But, you know, in person with a mirror up close, it's hard to make it look nice and this actually looks pretty good. So, I'm kind of impressed with this so far. Cool. Next, I need to not make everything fall down. Next, I need a concealer and I think I have one sample for a concealer. Just kidding, I have two because, of course, um, one of them is the Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer, but this is in medium beige, so I'm not sure what it looks like. Um, and this other one I have, the YSL, um, what is it actually called, Touche Clay, um, and it's got three different shades. So, kind of curious what this medium beige is. I have a feeling I can't wear it, but I'm just going to open it anyway. Oh yeah, that looks way too dark for me. Like, that, that's not an under eye concealer. But that's a bummer, I really wanted to try this product. <sighs> oh well. All right, onto the YSL one. Luckily, this has three different shades, and this one just says light shades, plural. Like, I guess they just gave me one of these, and they're just showing you what the full shade selection is. This one is number one, so it's the lightest one they have. So it might actually be a little too light. Um, Although, I also get number two, 
which is still under the light shades, but it's grouped with the medium shades. I don't really know how they figured this whole sampling thing, but I'll start with the lightest and we'll just see how crazy light it is. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, it's very pink. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So this will probably be a good match for me. And I do tend to get like dark, not dark, but like a purplish kind of hue under my eyes because my skin is very thin there. So I think this peachy shade will actually be pretty good. Let's see. This is really nice. I haven't actually splurged on a full size of these yet because I feel like it's basically the same product as the Maybelline Dream Lumi. It's like similar packaging. It also has that peachy undertone. So I've never splurged on it, but I actually really do like this a lot. This is pretty nice. And this, my friends, is why companies give you samples of things because then you suddenly want to buy all the stuff you're trying. Cool, this looks good. Good so far. Um, however, I'm realizing right now that this is normally the step when I would do my brows and I don't have any brow products, so I'm going to search for something that I could use for my brows. Great, I don't have anything to put on my brows, so I guess my brows are going to be not very exciting. Unless I could find a dark foundation that might do the trick. Okay, so this is Becca foundation. There's a medium and a dark shade in here. Does this match my brows? It's probably a little too orangey, isn't it? What about dark golden? Hmm, definitely still too orange for me. Okay, what about the YSL concealer? Oh, that's like skin color, never mind. Silly me for thinking this would actually be a deep shade, which looking at the number is actually a medium shade, so they just don't give you any deep shades in this sample pack. Okay, I think Cover FX might have come through for me. There is a shade N100 down here. It's looking pretty promising. What do we think? Is that eyebrow color? It's probably the closest I'm gonna get to something I could put on my brows. Okay, it's gonna turn out so bad, but I, I promised I would do only my samples and this is what we're gonna get. This could definitely be worse, but I'm just gonna say this does not match my roots at all. All right, this looks so bad. I wish I had done this last because now I have to look like this the rest of the video. Okay, so I think I don't have a bronzer, but I'm going to once again look for a darker foundation or concealer that I can use as a contour. Um, so we're not gonna use this one because that turned out a lot more orange than I expected. Uh, but let's see, is this probably not dark enough, huh? I don't think that's dark enough. I'll try that Becca dark golden shade of their foundation. We shall see. All right, I think that's the best I'm going to get. And you know, it's not bad. So I don't think I can go on with my eyebrows looking the way they do. So I'm just gonna casually wipe them off. Sorry about that. I just figured if I had left that on, it would have been super distracting the rest of this video. So, uh, we're just gonna not have eyebrows today. I do not have a setting powder, unfortunately, but I do have a blush, so I think I'm just gonna move on to blush and who, who needs setting powder? It'll be fine. This is a nice blush. It's the Sephora brand Colorful Blush in the shade number five, Sweet On You. So it's just like a nice, warm, light pink. Ah, oh, that feeling when you're partway through a video and you realize your mic wasn't on. So apologies for the horrible sound quality in this video so far. Yes, I hope we are counting deluxe samples as samples today because I have a deluxe sample of the Benefit Watts Up highlighter. I've had this for freaking ever, but at least I have something. <laughs> okay, 
Other than my eyebrows, I would say my skin is pretty done here. So I'm gonna move on to the eyes. Now here's where we're going to get a little creative because I don't have any eyeshadow samples. Um, but I have eyeshadow primer and I have that blush and I have lipsticks and I have dark foundations. So somewhere in there we're gonna find a look. I have a few eyeshadow primer options. I have, what is this? Benefit Air Patrol, um, and I have Urban Decay Primer Potion in various colors, which this one might actually be the winner here. And yeah, I have the same Urban Decay one twice. I have two different versions of Sin in here. I have Minor Sin and Sin, and they both say Champagne Shimmer. Uh, so I'm just gonna grab Minor Sin. I don't really know what the difference is. Okay, this isn't as colorful as I was hoping it would be. It's like it goes on pink and then it just becomes straight shimmer, if you can tell. Uh, so I don't know how much I should keep piling on. I think just like a little more. Yeah, this is the best I'm going to get with this. So, I think the blush will help bring a little more color here. So I'm just gonna take this blush and do a little crease buffing here. That's not bad. This is like a nice and natural look today. I do have an eyeliner sample. I've actually used this a few times before. This is the NARS larger than life long wear eyeliner um, and I'm like kind of running out of it because sample eyeliners don't actually twist up. So we'll see how far we get with this. This eyeliner is like not giving me much. This kind of just looks like a gray smudge on my eyelid. Like this is not what I was expecting of an eyeliner. This is the best I could get out of this thing. I just squeezed the life out of this. I noticed this eyeliner was tugging quite a bit while I was trying to use it. And I was making sure to go straight up and down because I know it's kind of not sticking up past the packaging. But I don't know. I don't really, don't really like this eyeliner very much. I do also have a mascara. It is this teeny tiny Pixie Lash Booster Mascara. <laughs> So if samples can expire, I'm going to guess that this mascara is probably a little bit dead. Otherwise, I cannot explain why this mascara is so freaking dry. It like did not do anything to my lashes. I mean, I guess they're a little bit darker, but come on, that that's not a mascara. Finally, I have multiple lipstick options here. Um, oh, I have another mascara. Oh, thank God. Hold on one second. We're going to go back to the mascara. This is the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant. And I think I've had samples of this before. Oh, this is a giant mascara wand. A little bit terrifying. I don't know why sample mascaras are always so dry, but this is the best I'm gonna get for my lashes today. I guess that got a little bit better. Okay, so what I was really reaching in this bag for is a lipstick. I have no idea what color it is. Artist Rouge Matte. Oh, so that's like a dark red. Okay, not the vibe I'm going for today. I also have this little set of Dior Rouge, the new lipstick. Um, and it's this little palette thingy with a brush. Oh, that's cool. Get a brush. I think these are just little like pots. Like it, they make it look like they're the tops of the lipsticks, but it's not actually like a whole top of a lipstick, you know what I'm saying? This is just like a little plastic mold they put product into. So, let's see. I am going to go for, let's just do this bright pink down here, because that looks kind of cool. Oh geez, how, how do I open this without opening everything? These lipsticks are fragranced, by the way. That was, I was very surprised by that for a second. 
Wow, the pigmentation is really nice on this. It's cool, this brush is like glued together at the tip, so it actually stays sharp, like the brush doesn't splay. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like, it stays flat and like hard on the end, so you actually can like line your lips with the lipstick, which is pretty cool. Okay, so this actually is not that bad. So there we go, that is my whole face of makeup using just makeup samples. Uh, the only thing that's missing is my eyebrows. Can I just say, I'm a little disappointed that all of the dark foundation shades were basically just orange. I know my medium and dark skin friends are probably sitting there nodding like, yes, all of our makeup does not actually match our skin tone, and that is definitely something that you hear about, but like, holy crap, everything was orange. Overall, I think I had a decent variety of stuff. Uh, I have like a bunch of different lipstick shades and stuff that now I want to try out because this lipstick is pretty awesome. I would love to see you try this out, so please, please do a video like this if you have a bunch of makeup samples like I do. Maybe you'll have actual eyeshadows or eyebrow patterns or something that would make this a little easier for you. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you're looking for me, you can find me at any of the social media handles that you see in the description down below. Or as always, you can find me at brokeforbeauty.com. Thanks again for hanging out with me, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!